It is Sunday. It is time for my mental health vlog. And y'all, I am just exhausted after this weekend, after this week. What a week it's been. And I have so much to share with y'all. Um, uh, first off, uh, we talked about my interview. I had my interview on Monday. I think it was Monday. Uh, that interview went very well. Um, in fact, I that was with the head of HR and... I have a meeting with the department manager, an interview with the department manager tomorrow. Um, so that's a good sign. Um, a benefit to that is on Friday, there was an annual meeting, an annual award ceremony for my company where people receive an award and it is the highest award you can get for the company. And my particular meeting was for all of IT, the entirety of IT for my company, which was hundreds of people. And this also included the manager that I'm interviewing with on Monday. Well, it was a complete and total surprise and a huge honor, but I was a recipient of one of the awards at the meeting. And I was completely blown away. I can't even tell you 100% why I got it because as soon as my manager, who nominated me, um, said my name, because the manager presents it to the employee, said my name, I, I was in complete and total shock. My jaw dropped and my computer blew up with congratulation instant messages and I didn't hear a thing she said. All I was thinking of is, oh shit, I'm about to be the Zoom camera focus for the entirety of IT to say something. And I'm wearing a shirt that says Wolf, which had I known, I would have worn a more work appropriate shirt. At least my hair was combed. I was thankful for that. And of course, as soon as the head of technology focuses on me when he's introducing me he says and i like your shirt that says wolf i could have died i could have died so embarrassed but at the same time i was just so gobsmacked for lack of a better word that um that i was an award recipient and it's huge it, it's it's a huge thing in my company uh, and just gobsmacked but the manager I'm interviewing with was in that meeting. So that's got to look good for me. <laughs> so I'm excited about that when I interview with her tomorrow. I'm sure it'll come up. Uh, what else happened this week? My back went out again because, you know, why not? I'm reaching, I think I'm reaching that age where, you know, a couple weeks ago I talked about the check engine light always being on. Well, yeah, well, yay. My back has gone out. My back went out the day before my first physical therapy appointment for my shoulder. But hey, I made the appointment. I told y'all I was going to. I made the appointment and I went. It sucked, but I went. I even made a follow-up appointment too. So I'm going to physical therapy. Basically, it's a frozen shoulder with some kind of issue with my rotator cuff. So they're confident that with the, um, the physical therapy treatments that they're going to do for me there and the things that the, that the doctor wants me to do at home, that that will subside. <clears throat> he said sometimes there's no real reason why we get fro frozen shoulder. Sometimes it's a traumatic incident. Sometimes it just locks up and it happens, especially as we get older, he said, at which point I wanted to flip him off. But then he said you know, around our age, because we're about the same age. He looked a lot better than I did, so I still wanted to flip him off. But anyway, I digress. So I did physical therapy. My bag did go out. It's been hurting me. It seized up pretty bad one day where I was just sitting in my chair at work, and I had rolled over to my embroidery machine to reach up to change out a thread. And my back had already been hurting me, so I knew it was coming, but when I reached up to grab that thread, the right side of my lower back just seized and I almost screamed in pain so I waddled over to the couch and tried to lay down and try to get comfortable and tried to just kind of find a way to, until it kind of deflared or, or you know kind of calmed down so I could maneuver a little bit more 
Um, surprisingly enough, the very next day, it wasn't as that sharp, intense pain as it normally is. Um, now the pain is more in my right hip. And I sound old saying that, don't I? Yeah, I know. But I have residual pain in my hip. Honestly, the worst time is when I'm standing to pee. It, that's when it hurts the most. Weirdest thing. So I'm just going to sit for a while. <sighs> I had the entire weekend with my son. I was super excited about that. Uh, normally, I only get him Friday nights, and I take him home Saturday around noon. But I got him Friday night, all day Saturday, Saturday night, and I took him home about 3.30 today. Um, oh, it was awesome. We went to... Uh, he and my boyfriend and I went to the Houston Water Wall, which I did not know was a thing in the Galleria. It's actually really, really cool. If you're in the Houston area, go check it out. It's beautiful. It's got a huge field just for like picnics or whatever. It's a, it's evidently a very popular photo spot. I mean, there were people with quinceanera dresses and prom dresses and wedding dresses and some tuxedos and just kids. Just everybody taking pictures and taking advantage of the beautiful weather we've had this weekend. Um, so, yeah, if you're in the Houston area, check out the water wall in the gallery. It was, it was really cool. Um, my son really enjoyed it because he got wet. You know, the, 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 the spin up, the, the, the mist from the, the water. Uh, he got wet. He enjoyed it. He had fun. Um, I don't think he just enjoyed being outside in the park in the sunshine. But uh, we got some great pictures uh, with my boyfriend and my son and I. Um, I guess I kind of see that as my family now. I, I definitely, I definitely see that as my family now. Um, today we went to a different park and um, we went Pokemoning because it was a Pokemon community day. So um, my son and my boyfriend, my son was using my phone and they were, I, want, I would have loved to have gotten some pictures but my son had my phone and they were catching uh, Pokemon and Pokemon Go and I had the dog so we walked around and I definitely got some sun. I got my, my I definitely got a good dose of vitamin D today. Don't be dirty. You know who you are. Um, I got my vitamin D today, uh, this weekend really. Um, so that's probably why I'm in such a good mood. Uh, this afternoon, um, I had some time to myself, so I ran into pennies and got some new shorts because they were on sale and I needed some new shorts because the shorts that I've been living in are starting to t fade a little bit in the crotch and self-care is making sure your clothes are not holy and fit right. <laughs> so, um, I did, I did get a new pair of shorts that were on sale. I don't need much. I don't... I don't have an extensive wardrobe. Most of my clothes are t-shirts and shorts or jeans if it's cold. Um, I don't dress for work. I work from home. But I want to make sure my clothes don't have too many holes or, or stains or tears or, or too much, too much sign, excessive sign of wear. And that's where these are heading. So I uh, picked up some shorts. And then my boyfriend and I met a friend of mine um, to, for some coffee this afternoon. And, you know, I've mentioned that my, my boyfriend is having surgery in two weeks or, or a week and a half. And the person that we met with today um, had also gone through this similar specific type of surgery. So it was great that my boyfriend could ask him some questions and get some feedback and find out some things that, that he can expect, you know, after surgery. So uh, that was really nice. And we sat outside and again, I got some more sun. I think, I think I've sunburned the back of my head and the back of my legs, but again, it was nice to be out in the sun. Just beautiful weather this weekend. Really good for my mental health, just to get some sunshine and some fresh air and some activity. Um, aside from that, I was pretty much sleeping because the muscle relaxers that I found from the last time my back went out have been handy, but oh, they knocked me out. If I sit in my recliner or I'm laying in bed, I'm gone. That recliner is a succubus, but I love it. Oh, I feel like there's something else I wanted to tell y'all and darn it for the life of me. I just can't remember. And I'm coming up on the end of my time anyway. Interview, talked about that. Award, talked about that. Science, that time with my son, talked about that. My boyfriend's doing great. He's been really busy with his uh, his new position in, uh, in, in real estate. And uh, it's been a really good couple of weeks for him. Um, 
and getting some good contracts in place. And I'm just proud of how, how hard he's working while at the same time getting ready for his surgery. So I'm very proud of him for that. Um, and my dad called me today to tell me he was proud of me about my award. And that was, that was also really cool. He actually called right before I made this video. That was, that's cool. I think my dad and I are starting to be in a good place. All right, I've definitely gone over my time this weekend, and I have run my mouth the entire 10 minutes, y'all. But I'm in a good place. I hope y'all are in a good place, and I hope y'all really had a great week. Um, check on your friends, and tell them hi, and make sure you tell them you love them, and you're thinking about them. Check on your loved ones, and tell them hi. Tell them you're proud of them. That was really cool today. And tell them you love them. Um, check on yourself. Make sure you're doing your self-care. I did mine this week. I didn't want to, and it sucked, but I did it. Do yours. Don't put it off. Make sure you tell yourself you love yourself, too. Check on your pets. Tell them you love them, too. All right, guys. That's it for me. I will see you all next week. Have a great day and a great week.